Welcome to our video on Perfectly Clear Lab. We're glad that you're here. The purpose of this video is to provide you with an overview of how to use our Perfectly Clear Lab software. In no time at all, you'll be saving time and money while producing beautiful pictures with Perfectly Clear. So let's get started. So to begin, we suggest that you read through our lab user manual. It provides a lot of excellent detailed information on the on the various speeds, the presets, the corrections, how to fine tune what each one does. So a lot of good information in there that you should give it a read through. So to load our lab software, you simply double click the icon that was installed on your desktop and our user interface here will appear just like this. So perfectly clear lab uses the concept of hot folders. So what is a hot folder? Well most of you would know this but just as a high level overview Hot folder is simply a folder that is live or hot. So when you copy or move a file in there, a JPEG, a bitmap, or in our case also a PDF, the folder automatically detects that that file is there, puts it through perfectly clear lab, automatically processes it, and moves it to an output. Just that simple. You also have an option to take that original image and move it to an original file folder, or just delete it in case, in some cases, we our customers save all the original folders on the back end so they don't want a duplicate copy as they process through for example. So let's let's go back to the software. You can see it here so the first thing to begin with is let's press the folders button here in the bottom right. What that's going to do is show the location of all the presets and all the channels on your computer. You can see the location here. It's important to define a couple definitions here before we go any further. First of all, a folder refers to a physical folder or shortcut on your computer that photos are sent to. A hot folder simply means a folder that is live, i.e. automatically detecting photos and processing them and moving them to a different folder when completed. Channels, as you can see in our lab here, we got vivid details, indigo printing, and several others. A channel simply refers to a folder that has been assigned a name and a specific processing attribute. In other words, a preset. So here's our vivid details, which is the actual folder, an input. We got an original folder and an output, which corresponds to our vivid details channel. So we mentioned a preset a minute ago. A, a preset is simply a default settings that come loaded with the software and the, there are the various corrections or algorithms defining that preset. Here's the preset. You can pull it up to see all the corrections behind that. We'll go over that in more detail later. So to be, as a starting point, we suggest that you either use our Vivid Details preset or our Indigo preset if you're printing to HP Indigos or Xerox iGen or even Kodak, Kodak machines as well. So any of those three, the Indigo printing preset has some special functionality, algorithms, science optimized for those printers. If you're not, just begin with our Vivid Details preset. Very robust preset. Works on millions of images without ever damaging them. Always given a better result. It's a very excellent starting point. And you can fine tune it from there if you need to. But in many cases, you'll find this preset works perfect for you. So so let's begin. We, we clicked the folder, tab, the folder button before, which opened up the windows. Now Vivid Details input. So let's go in here. This is our input channel. So this is where you can have pictures or files be automatically fed from the internet or a kiosk or you can simply copy and paste them over as well. In this case I got three demo images, example images, so we're just going to copy them over and and we're going to start. Actually one thing I noticed is we haven't started the software yet. So there's two buttons up on the top. You have a start all and a stop all. So if we press start all you're going to notice the status will change to, to running. There you can see it. So as soon as I press start, everything is running. So now, when I copy these three pictures over, just to the Vivid Details input channel, what's going to happen is the lab software is going to automatically detect them. You can see it's pending, it's processing them. Process 2, process 3 here, it's actually so fast that we're done already. So it's processed all three of them, and it shows this pending, and if there were any skipped, and it shows you the little picture at the same time. So let's go see the results of that. That was the Vivid Details input channel. So it will we'll have sent them all to the output channel. Let's just make this a little bit bigger so you can see them all. And at the same time, what we'll do is we'll show you the original images, Vivid Detail Original, where it's moved them to there as well. 
So the original images are on the top, and the perfectly clear images are on the bottom. You can see this one's lacking in color vibrancy. Here, it's black, the color vibrancy is there, lots of depth and punch to it. These two images are underexposed. You can see them being corrected. This one's also removed a red eye, although it's a bit tough for you to see from that small size. So that's really all there is to it. Now I'm going to take you through a little bit more control as well. So we'll move on to the tier two here. Up in the top, we got system, and there's when I mean, you press that button, there's several options that appear. The first thing is the display. So far, we've been showing our default display. We call it the table view, but if you hit the tree view, it's just going to show you more information about each channel. You can click the info, it's going to show you the file location, it's going to show you the status. In this case, we just process three, skip to zero, zero or pending. You can also, under display, choose the parameter view. What that's going to do is, for each channel, show you which algorithm is turned on and off and what correction setting. You can use whichever one you want, it's up to you. So now let's talk about the presets. If you hit the system, and presets. We were going over the vivid details before. So if you highlight the vivid details, you can see the algorithms behind that preset, which ones were turned on and at which value. Now we're not going to go over each algorithm in this video. For information on each algorithm and also each preset, please read our lab user manual. It goes over all the details and how to fine tune it. We also have a second video on the workbench that does go over each algorithm, what it does and how to fine tune it. So you can easily select on another preset or you can easily create your new preset if, if you like what what is there but you wanted skin tone correction and let's say you want to just create it you would just overwrite the name let's call it awesome test for example you'd hit accept and drive on in this case we're just not going to save it we're just going to go back here and what we're going to do next is we're going to go to load in the channels setting now basically when you're in here there's there's three things this part is the channel name. This shows all of the preset or algorithm information. And then this shows some other miscellaneous controls that you can adjust, which we'll go over in a minute. So when you click on the vivid details, this shows the location of the input folder, which is very important. That's where you feed all images to. The output folder, which is where they end up. And so those are the most important. And then you have the option to either, as we showed you in the very beginning, delete the original after processing or move the original to the following folder. Let's say you wanted to create your own channel, a new channel. In this case, let's just call it a video test channel. You just type it in there. You're going to press this automatic setup button. It, it asks, it defaults to a suggested input folder, output folder, and what would you like to do with your pictures for it to move them. You can change them, but we suggest you just accept these folders because it's going to keep them in the same location as the default and they're automatically created on your computer just like that. So now we've, we have a video test channel, but now what we want to do is we want to create or associate a preset with it. So we can either load a preset. So let's say we wanted to use the portrait preset. You'd select, everything gets updated here. Or you can also, in real time, just turn off color vibrancy or any of these options. When you hit add, it's going to be remembered these corrections to this specific channel. So it's really that simple. We also give you the ability to adjust your red, green, and blue if you need to tweak it for your printer settings if you want everything a bit redder or a bit greener, for example. In this case, we're just going to keep it all to zero. So that's how you associate a preset with a particular channel. Now, we haven't created it yet because we haven't pressed the Add button. Let's go over a couple more of the controls here. Under monitor mode, we have the automatic, which you'll probably use most of the time, but we also have the option to use trigger files. You can choose the name and then choose the path and the delay. So you want to use trigger files if you have a trigger file in your workflow separating different orders, for example. As we mentioned, we also work on PDF files, which is very powerful. And there are four different options under the PDF. And what this result, what this means is the in essence, how we treat the images. We have process any RGB image. We're going to process all the images in your PDF file. One thing that's really interested is the utilized metadata. And please read through the user manual. We go over all four of these in more detail. But if you're using a partner of ours, for example, or if, if your PDF compiler tags the metadata, you can use that in conjunction with your lab software to know which images in your PDF file to skip. It's, it's very powerful and very useful. 
We also have a resize option. You can resize output if you turn it on. You choose what size you want to resize it to. In this case, 3 million pixels. And then you can always process on original size. So you can process the full res image and just resize the output. Or you can deselect it and it's going to resize the image before actually applying perfectly clear. And then lastly, the output format is automatic, meaning if you started with a TIFF, it's going to be a TIFF. Or if you always want a JPEG, meaning whether it's a bitmap or TIFF as a beginning, it's going to output it as a JPEG as well. So let's just set, deselect that, press the Add button, boom, that easy. If we scroll down, here's our video test channel. And what happened is it's created, if we press the Folder button, what, you, what we'll notice is video test channel input, original output, so it's created the folders. It's created the channel and it's associated a preset with it with the various correction parameters that we defined. So just a couple last points to touch on. If you go to archive, you can also enable folder size controls. So if you turn this on, you can set a limit. So in this case, 1 million megabytes or a gigabyte. And when the size hits there, basically it's going to start to delete older files. So you can use it to manage the size of folders or manage the size of photos within perfectly clear lab we also have a log option to enable system logging and you can view the log file if you want to find out just any information about the processing the license just gives you information about your license whether you've you're using the pdf when it expires you can uh, remove the license to transfer it to another machine or extend a license so all of that standard information and actually then the last one is just the about so that's actually all that we wanted to touch on on this video hope it was helpful hope you can see how easy it is if you got any questions please contact us at info at athentech.com and enjoy the enjoy we hope you enjoy perfectly clear lab in terms of running it through your images and we hope it saves you lots of time and money and produces beautiful results thanks again for watching